So up last time we we're able to register a user, but we didn't have a way to properly show errors if we had like errors to show. Same thing that we are going to be running into if we want to show maybe something like invalid credentials up here. So what we'll do in this video is we are going to be creating a message component that we can say, okay, show me a message that is blue or show me a success message component or show me an error message component. And then it's going to be looking differently depending on what we want. Also, we can have a message component that we can maybe say if an action fails, let's say we made a request and it failed, we can have like a, a retry, a retry option where a user can click and then it calls back the function that was called before the it failed, before that error was sent. Similarly, if we wanted to, let's say, dismiss it from the UI, we could provide like a way to close it, those kinds of things. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Now we're going to go to our components. So inside here, we have our common. So inside common, I'm going to create another one called message. Okay, so I'm going to start out with things that we already have here because at least we need the, they're going to be quite similar. So let me remove this file, rename this to only index. Okay, so for now, let's rename this from custom button to message. Now we are going to be working with the BG color, of course, there won't be any reason to have a disabled one. So now over here, of course, we can keep the touchable as the whole wrapper. We won't have it to load, so we need to remove this. We'll be sending a message. So let's rename title to message. Obviously, the message is always going to be there, so we don't even need to check it. Because that's the only thing we are showing, actually. So let's make sure we have it like that. So the message, make sure we pass it. Let's get it from here. Also, let's pick info. So if it's primary, let's also check if it's success. If it is success, we need to have success being pulled in here. Then we want to return colors dot success. If it is, what else do we have? If it's info. Okay, so I guess we can have info instead of secondary. Okay. We have colors dot info. Let's, let's make sure. Oh, we don't have. So let's return secondary instead. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. Don't need the loading, the disabled, smooth those, don't press, don't need save. Now it's looking minimal. Move this stuff. Okay, we don't need this. So the color for the text is where it's gonna be white. So let's make sure that's the case. We don't need this padding. Okay, so now if we went to the login, which we can try to see them here, I'm gonna go to the login component, which is right here. Now I'm going to create some dummy messages. So here we can say message. Let's import it. So let's give it the message. This can be something like invalid credentials. Save it. Okay, so let's pass primary to this one. So when you pass primary, you see that we get invalid credentials here. So meaning if we pass another one, let's pass error, which I think is danger. You see it looks like that. Then this can be info, like that. Then this, which other do we have? Even forgetting something that we did just a second ago. A success one, okay. So have a success. Of course, a success wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> now that we have this, we can use it like this. But if we wanted to, let's say, have an icon that the user can click and they dismiss it from the UI, we can add that. Also, if we wanted to be able to retry, let's say something failed, something went wrong and want to retry, we could add like an icon to refresh. 
So let's try to do those. Now, the first one, I'm going to add a retry option to this and also pass a retry function. Retry function. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick this so that the retry will be true, will be a boolean. Then the retry function will be some function that may be console.logs hello world. Okay, so let's go to the message. So here in message, we can pick these two. So retry, and also the retry function. So retry fn. Okay, so we wanna check if retry is passed. So right here, you notice that we only have the text, but we're gonna do if we have retry. So if I have the retry, then we want to show another text for now, and it's gonna be retry. So here we can have text. Then we're gonna say retry. So in so in the next videos, we are gonna be changing this to use icons after we set them up. So let's make sure it's also white. And we want it to move to the left. So to do that, we it needs to be clickable and also move to the left. So here we can have a touchable opacity that will hold it because we can't have on press on the text itself. Okay, so we can have on press. So on press will be the retry function, the one we get that gets passed in. Okay, and now when we have this, we don't want it to be in the middle. We want it to be left to right. Okay, so let's first remove these tiles because they are really abstracting us. So this tile there, let's remove it. So what we want to do here is we are going to make sure the flex direction is raw. So flex direction should be raw. That puts them left to right. Then we want just five contents space between. So they go from here, another one the other end. So we do that by putting just five content space between. And you see the at the end. Okay, so for the message, let's give it some padding vertical. To do something like 13. So when you save that, you see that now it's centered, which is looking good, which is what we want. Okay, so now this is gonna do, if we clicked retry, you notice that it's consologing our, what it should be doing, meaning that if we passed, if we pass, let's say, if this was an error and we clicked retry, and here in the handler, we were maybe doing something, it would be recalled. Okay, so also we want to make sure a user can pass, let's say, and this and on dismiss. So if they wanted to remove it, you can have like on dismiss equals remove it from the UI. So for the on dismiss, we are going to let it be handled by the. So for the on dismiss, it's going to be handled entirely by the user. So since this. So since this is gonna be there when we only have the error, the user can pass on dismiss. So whenever we have on dismiss, we want to be changing the, basically this, maybe putting an X or a close button. So we can go back to our message component, also pick out on dismiss like that. Also, so down here, we can check if on dismiss is there. So at the end, we can have a check. So if type of on dismiss equals function. So if that's the case, then we can have another icon. So for now, we are going to be using a text, but later I will show you how to use icons. So save it. Okay, so it also should be styled to have to be white for now. So let's save it like that. So if on dismiss is go to function, then show it. Not sure why it's not showing. Let's see where we set it. We sent it. Go to the login, save it. 
and you see that the X will be there. Now, when the X is there, that means that the user really wants to, re to be able to dismiss it. Remember, these are going to be controlled by us. So every time we have this, we can go ahead and put away the retry. So, so down here, we can have another check inside the, the message component. So that's going to be just a similar check. But here we're going to check for the reverse and not just to keep things minimalistic. But I'm just giving you an idea on what's possible and what you could, you could actually do. So whenever they click the X, we are going to need to be handling it inside the, we're going to have like a touchable opacity. It's gonna be touchable opacity. Then on press, then this can be their own on dismiss. Okay, then let's move our text in there. Okay, so now they should be able to come and click the X and they can have maybe a they can have a way to remove the this. Also, we could implement this one. We could implement this one look inside the component. But for now, I guess we can leave it to this. But if you wanted to, you can have this something like this. So you can first, let's say, implement your own on dismiss. And then later you call the users on dismiss. So let, let me show you something. Here I'm going to have, let's say, a state that keeps track if a user has clicked on, on dismiss. So here we can have some state user user dismissed set dismissed. Then this is gonna be false use state. It's gonna be false. So we need to make sure our use state is being imported. Now when a user clicks it. We can come here and do something like set dismissed. Set dismissed to true. Okay, something like that. Then when they click, we, we set it to true, meaning that the value for the dismissed will be true here. So now instead of us returning this JSX, I'm going to put these fragments here, fragment syntax. Make sure we are closing it like this. And now here we can say if user dismissed so something like this user dismissed then return null otherwise return the touchable opacity so let's close it here like this so now we can come and click dismiss and you see it goes away from the ui so that's what i meant so now a user can run maybe a callback in their own dismiss so if we said on dismiss to all of this let's say we went to here and also added the on dismiss where are they okay okay so i guess you saw what's possible but you could actually do many things with this component this type of programming so now you can come and re remove this remove this and remove this okay so i guess this tutorial was helpful if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video thanks for watching bye